So why a whole video about how to use a mouse? It just seems simple enough, right? Just hold it. But this is seriously one of the few one-sided activities we do in high repetition daily. So learn the tips and tricks to save yourself. So if you don't listen to my advice and make these necessary adjustments, what's the worst that could happen? How about the wrist and forearm compensations and pain? You've got shoulder, neck, and face tension. You've got repetitive overuse of your typing muscles. And then worse, it could be carpal tunnel syndrome. So let's get into the few simple strategies to help you over the course of your lifetime and career at the computer. All right, we have a special guest today. We've got Delta. She's hanging out with me and she's just part of this video as well. So what we wanna do is we're gonna set you up on how to sit. What I want you to think about is there's four dots. There's basically, you've got your throat, you've got your sternum, your belly button, and your pubic bone. And what we wanna do is we're gonna have it like go down. <laughs> Delta. <laughs> you want to think about four dots you want to align your throat your sternum your belly button and your pubic bone those should all be in one line going over your center of base or your where your sits bones is one two three four over your base and then you want to be able to shoulder set so shoulder set is just going up you're going to turn your palms out and you're going to let it slide down you want to go up Turn your palms out and then go down. So it's not this, it's just up, turn your palms out, let it slide down. And then you wanna know the right distance between you and the mouse. So ideally it's just this perfect 90 degrees, your elbows by your side, and you can just let it rest just like this. Want the right distance, you don't have to do that. It should be right here. So you should get closer or you, if you can use this, little standing vehicle that we got, it's right here. Everything's by your side and that's what we want. Then what we wanna do is a lot of people do this. This is how you get in a big trouble here in your forearms, your typing muscles, and even the possibility of carpal tunnel because you do this all the time, you're gonna burn out, then you're gonna do some weird bad habits in your neck and then kink the whole nervous system. So what we wanna do is think of your shoulder blade. Think of it like this. There's a great exercise, shoulder blade clocks. I highly recommend you go check that out. We'll link that in the description box below. But what you wanna do is you wanna be able to learn to use that shoulder. Keep this relaxed, right? So you're gonna keep this relaxed and I'm just kind of moving it this way, right? A lot of people, you wanna do this. And then once you've got that down, if you just wanna go forward and back, then you can actually unlock the elbow a little bit, right? So if you're doing a lot of graphics things or playing video games, learn to use your shoulder blade instead of just all this. And yes, this is faster, but these are not endurance muscles in your forearms. These are power muscles. So you got your shoulder blade and has lots of different muscles that are gonna be your endurance muscles. So that's the easiest way is to use that shoulder blade. So you're not burning out your neck and you're not burning out those shoulder blade muscles. Let us know your thoughts on our video. Leave us some love or questions in the comments box below. Please like and subscribe. We appreciate your support. I'm Dr. Lin. Remember, wheel smarter, not harder.